Welcome back students who are taking Math for Business Applications, Math for Business and Finance, and Math Applications. Uh, this is the Chapter 14 Drill Problems, the Odd Numbered Problems, and we are picking up where we left off uh, with Problem 14-5. Uh, so it says in the text, calculate the monthly payment for Problems 14-3 and 14-4 by the table lookup and formula. Okay, um, for drill problem 14-5 and 14-6, 14-5 is the problem is referring to the 14-3, and the 14-6 refers to the 14-4. Okay, so since we're not doing the even numbered questions, we're not going to reproduce the even even numbered figures here. So what I've reproduced is the work, the table for 14-3. Uh, okay, And it's telling us to use 13% for the table lookup. Okay, Because as you recall, when we did 14-3, uh, we ended up with a, a factor of 28.758, which uh, when we cross-referenced it on the APR table, it brought us like almost exactly at 13%, and that's why it's telling us to use 13% here. Um, it says answers will not be exact due to rounding of percents in the table lookup. Okay, so um, let's see here. Calculate the monthly payment by table lookup and by formula. Okay, so Let's do the table lookup first. All right. So we have 56.73 less the down payment of 12.23, and that's going to give us our 44.50, which was the amount financed, and we know that from the previous problem. Okay. Now we're going to divide that by 1,000, which gives us. Uh, 4.45. Okay, and if we had when we had looked up on the table, okay, 13% um, at uh, 13% at uh, 48 payments, okay, gives us a factor of 2683. Now, um, that 2683, you know, that came from table 14.2, which is the loan amortization table, and it's the monthly payment per $1,000, and that's why we're um, dividing by $1,000 here because the table tells us that we have to divide by a thousand. All right, so we take we take the amount that we're borrowing and divide it by a thousand because our table tells us it's per thousands, which it gives us the 44, 4.45. And then when we cross-reference the 13% at 48 uh, payments, okay, we find the factor 2683. So we just multiply the 4.45 times the 2683 and we end up with $119.39 as our monthly payment. Okay. Now, um, as far as if we were uh, doing it from the formula, right? Let me, as you were, as you will, as you will recall, um, our. Let's jump back up here. We had calculated here our uh, finance charge, right? Um, so we had a total number, a uh, total monthly payments, right here, okay, of fifty-seven, oops, fifty-seven twenty-nine seventy-six, and we subtract our uh, forty-four fifty, all right, because that's the amount we're borrowing, and the difference being one twenty. Uh, one thousand two hundred seventy nine dollars and seventy six cents okay so that's the amount financed that's the finance charge 
0.7976. Okay, we add, if you recall, it's the, um, we take the finance charge plus the, um, the amount financed and we divide by the number of payments in order to get the month uh, the monthly payment in this case here okay but realize that we're you know um, the finance charge of being 1276 127976 plus the 4450 we already knew how much the total of the monthly payments was going to be so I really didn't need to go through that step twice I could have just taken the five thousand seven hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy six cents and just divided by the number of payments which is 48 and ended up with hundred and nineteen dollars and thirty seven cents and again you're off uh, rounding due to the percentages in the lookup table but um, so simply put uh, I could have just taken the total of the monthly payments and divided by 48 now I know that was a mouthful so I'm going to erase all of it so go ahead and pause the video if you've got it you know just you know fast forward but I'm gonna go over it real quickly to try to make it uh, clear because or a little bit clear because remember I'm just doing this ad hoc I'm doing it off the cuff as I normally work through it and you're seeing me work through this information basically just the same way as I was a student so and I did feel like I was that was a bit of a convoluted explanation so um, we're going to use the table so we have 5673 and we're subtracting the 1223 which gave us 4450 okay now we have to div if we go to table 14.2 which is our loan amortization table because we want to figure out the monthly payment. We have to divide that by 1,000 because table 14.2 um, is per $1,000. Okay, so when we divide, we end up with 4.45, and then we take and we look and say, okay, we're looking for 13% for 48 payments or periods. Okay, and when we cross-reference that, we end up with 2863 as that factor. So we multiply it, and we end up with 119.39, I believe it was, okay, as our monthly payment. So that's how we do it by the lookup table. But if you recall when I was talking in the previous video for problem 14-3, uh, I had said, okay, you know, here was our here was our amount financed was 4450 and I had said that you know on this table it's showing there's 48 payments but it's not telling us what the monthly payment is okay and if we take that 48 times the monthly payment that'll give us the total of our monthly payments right there okay so the reality basically is is that I should just take the total of the monthly payments of 47 I mean 572976 and divide it by the 48 payments and I end up with $119.37 okay? because I know what the the total of my monthly payments are okay? it's, you know very very that's a basic thing but if you look at the formula and I had written the finance charge plus the amount financed okay, over the number of payments. Okay, we'll give you that monthly payment. And the reason why I wrote out the expanded formula here, where I um, broke out the finance charge plus the amount financed because it uh, you know you don't know um, what how the information is going to be presented to you okay in this case here uh, yeah we're being given the total of the monthly payments so I don't need to add those two numbers together okay all I need to do is just divide by 48 but I might have been given you know uh, 
the amount financed and I might have said, okay, you know, it's at 13% and then I'd have to, you know, calculate the finance charge and then add it to the amount financed in order to get the total of the monthly payments. Okay. And then so that I could divide by the number of payments in order to get my monthly payment. So it's all a matter of how the information is being presented to you. Okay. All right. I hope that you understood that um, the second time around in that second explanation. All right, so, okay, and we're going to do um, an average daily balance and a finance charge. So uh, let me try to work through this as quickly as, no, actually I'm going to stop and uh, do a short video with just this problem in the next one, okay?